Emily from the blog FearlessDIY.com. So today I'm going to try two different ways of frosting glass. I have used um, this uh, film. Uh, this was the brand Stick Shade. I got it at Walmart. I've used this film before um, to frost glass and um, I had seen that Rust-Oleum has a frosted glass product as well. Um, and I just wanted to see the difference between the two, like the ease of application, um, because sometimes with the film, like sometimes there'll be like bubbles you can't get out exactly well, or you know, it may have like a little area that you've stretched it. So I'm just gonna do a comparison video of both of them and we'll see which one we like better. So for the film, it comes like this, and um, there's a, a scratchy side and then a, a smooth side, and there is a little piece of film that you have to remove from here. So you get your piece of glass clean, okay? Um, and then you wanna mist the whole surface with water. Okay, then you take your a piece of film and the hard part is finding where to start the to pull the, the film off of sometimes I end up trying like all four corners and it's a pain sometimes there it is I can see it now okay and you peel it off and that is the side you're gonna stick down on your piece of glass. See something on it, there we go. And you don't have to be too, too precise. Once you get it on there, you can scooch it around a little bit, see? Okay. See, you can, you can scooch it. Now, what you wanna do is lightly press out all the bubbles that you can see and then you can use um, like a credit card or um, like a little plastic um, kind of squeegee to get it, you know, get it flat as well. But I would not use a metal one because I've done that. In fact, I did it recently. And sometimes you're liable to like gouge it a little bit. Okay. That looks good. Whoopsie, come on now. Then you just gotta let it lay flat for it to dry. So I mean, it's a fairly simple way to get frosted glass. Oops, there we are. There you go. So it looks good. Um, and then you can, um, you know, so you can see how frosted it is perfect for kitchen cabinets. I've done it for that a lot for kitchen cabinets. Now here for the Rust-Oleum, I also cleaned off the glass. Okay, so I shook the can for two minutes. And so with this, we're going to spray a coat on and then we're like overlapping our lines. And then we're going to wait just a couple minutes and recoat it. Um, and then you wait 10 minutes. And see, I cut stuff in it because I'm outside. So don't do this outside if you want it to look right. Um, and then you can wash this frosted glass with soap and water, it says, and you can remove it using acetone. That was a really light coat. It's warm out, so I could probably do another one. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, and so it did frost it. You know what I mean? Actually, I mean, it did fine. And compared to, oh, this one's not dry yet, so it's still slipping around. Now, once it is dry, it won't slip like that. But this one, obviously, is gonna take longer to dry. So, here's what they look like, you know. 
than I've ever said. So the, this one looks more like sea glass to me. Now I'm going to try to add a few more coats. But I mean, that looks pretty good. That would be good enough for a cabinet. And this one's just got more texture. Okay. Let me try a few more coats on this one. I mean, I think it's opaque enough to tell you the truth. Now, it looks a little, you know, you can tell it was sprayed. It's not even right there on that corner. That whole section, I mean. So, let me try it again. Okay, so it's been 10 more minutes. Oh, that's stuff from the down here that's not from that's not on the glass that's on the back side so if you guys see that white stuff okay that yeah that junk's on the back side I think that did a great job besides all the paint I got on this thing now I mean I think that looks fantastic so I think that really worked well okay and here's the other one which also works well now here's one benefit to this one if you change your mind this is super easy to get off. You just, you know, stick your nail underneath the edge of it and peel it right off and the film comes right off. Um, this one you have to, I don't even know how difficult it might be. You have to spray with the acetone. Um, <laughs> crap, sorry, I got all that stuff on there. And so this one would be a little bit dip, more difficult to fix, but you know, it also has that sea glass look. So I think it just depends on what look you like better. This one's a little more opaque, but this one's absolutely, you know, you can't, you can't really see through it well. So, they both get a thumbs up in my book. Just depends on what kind of one you want to, you know, what look you're going for and how easily you want to be able to take it off. You know, this this one's still here. I don't know if you can see that. It looks a little bit like you can tell it was sprayed, you know. But when you're looking at it from far away in a cabinet, I don't think you're going to be able to tell. So, yeah, they both get a thumbs up. So, anyway... There's the two products, the Rust-Oleum Frosted Glass and the Roommate Stick Shades um, Window Clean Vinyl. And um, I have used that, the um, Frosted Static Clean several times in the past. Um, and it might come loose like on an edge or something, but if you just spray it with water and you know lay it back down, it sticks again. So that's a great thing about it, um, is that technically it's reusable. Um, but like if you accidentally gouge it or, you know, stretch it so that it's got a permanent bubble, there's no fix in it. It just is what it is. So, but still it's a super easy project. I mean, you can get, you know, frost the, you know, glass in your cabinets in, you know, 20 minutes. And then if you get sick of it, then you just peel it right back off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please uh, click like and the subscribe button. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to get to them. Visit my blog at www.fearlessdiy.com for more DIY tutorials. Thanks so much.